Today I'm working on my Hung Hungarian underfolder. It's slowly coming together. Um, this is a children's receiver. Some of the holes aren't lining up exact, so I'm going to have to work on that. You can see them there. The rivet holes will come out fine because they're undersized. When I go and drill for the correct size, it'll um, be okay. But down here where the actuating plunger is for the for the underfolder buttstock uh, got it here kind of see it it's nice shape and I'll show you the other part I'm gonna have to come back into here and dremel out a little bit um, if you know every gunsmith's worst nightmare is a dremel but have no real good option here but to do it so that's a bit I'm going to use just gonna go in there clean it up a little bit on the on the top half and flip it around do the other side you look at the large hole here it's not exact either let's see the other side yeah you see you can see it um, you do something like this don't try to remove material on the trunnion that's your support Use the receiver where you got to do some extra cutting. Might look a little sloppy, but when everything's on there, it'll hardly be noticeable. Every trunnion's drilled a little different. You're not going to be 100%. So even though I'd like to blame Childers, I'm sure their um, pattern is as, you know as close as it gets. But it just depends on who's making the trunnion. Because a lot of the trunnions will vary from manufacturer over over time or who's doing it. Because when these guys were done, I'm pretty sure CNC machining wasn't wasn't a thing. Because um, you know this kit doesn't have a date on it. I'm just assuming it's probably from the 80s. But I'm gonna go in there and take a little material off, just enough until it all works grab my parts here this guy has to fit in well to those two small holes here and here and as it is now it's not going to clear so I, I have to take just enough for it to to get in there And when you look at the main part here, let's just call it a shaft, it's not going to fit. You're going to have to trim it out just enough so it fits, but hopefully not um, mess up too much. Now the reason why I won't go with a drill bit with the appropriate size is because it's going to be hard to remove just the top part of the metal on the receiver and up in here. So I am just going to wing it with a Dremel until I get close and then come back maybe with a drill and try to true it up a bit. Sorry about that frog barking at us, but that's how it works. So let me get busy and I'll show you the aftermath of it and hopefully it comes out okay. Here I was able to make it work. It's just um, slightly egged out, but trying to keep the true nature of it being around. Uh, changed bits, going to one of these. Um, these grinding little wheels seem to do the job better than trying to use a carbon bit. This one's just not doing anything. Um, got this guy if I need him, but no, that one's okay. I'm um, just using the nail to check my holes, making sure it's uh, smooth and it's not catching. And trying to polish the holes as I go. I'm going to work on the other side. Try to make it, make it work. True test will be when um, I think I'm done and seeing if everything lines up. But that's where I'm at. And I'll just keep plugging away. 
you guys know a better way, leave it in the comment. Um, be curious to see what you got to say, what works for you, what your experiences are. Got the assembly together just for a test run. This uh, little test doesn't include any rivets here, as you can see. So this is just to make sure the assembly's working. Then it's gonna get all taken apart again. Locks up. Button works. You can take it down. Really hard to do with one hand. Oh, let's see. There we go. So assembly works. So let's say the rivets and the rifle is together. A little bit of uh, drilling and machinery work I had to do. And you don't see it because this whole button assembly and the collar here on the Folding buttstock covers everything, but I'll get another picture when I disassemble. This thing is actually working. It'll be all right. So don't be deterred if uh, some of your holes are slightly off. All you gotta do is work with it. I mean, their parts kit. Even though some people would like to sell them, I mean, you don't always have a choice on how you get this stuff from other manufacturers and part suppliers. You just do the best you can, take it really slow, a little, little at a time. You got the pins in there. Um, that little pin there, pop that out. Then this and the spring comes out. Then you can take this part off, slide it up a little bit, release the other pin that's under here, unscrew the collar, and it starts to come out. Working on the fitments, I got the upper gas tube fitting good. I got the piece I broke here, I got that one on. It's, uh, little little stiff but it works haven't drilled out the holes yet for my pins um, that'll be next everything's or these pieces are aligned properly handguard um, fits really good after riveting this this piece on sorry it's hard to see right in here you'll be able to see a little bit of white and that's where I had to file it down because it was sticking out it was impeding the gas tube from from seating in there but after filing it for about three minutes the fine file now it slides in no more uh, catching guys really stiff but I'll get it in there um, I had to use a ball bearing to flare it out then hold it and then I uh, just lightly um, crushed it you can use a vise or a, or a press the Hungarian's coming together all right it's just a uh, little tweaking here and there um, took the firing pin out the carrier sorry out the bolt and it all goes in and locks in pretty tight
front side is not canted it'll um, get pinned pretty good I just have to um, spend the time to do it I expect take me an hour probably to do the four pins there but then I have to drill and pin the front trunnion drill and pin the rear sight block that'll um probably a couple hours there because the sucker got to go slow you don't want anything to move on you while you're doing it just take your time right so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get an underfolder once uh this thing is populated it'll um the rest of it will be easy be easy just putting in the rivets putting the folding buttstock on there you saw me playing with that earlier and that's all aligned with the receiver now I gotta um, button this one up probably one more day messing around with this I'll get there this would be a good kit this kit doesn't look used it's just um, been in storage not sure if I'm going to Cerakote it or um, do a like a black oxide on it just to um, you know get rid of all the silver metal and just um, pretty much dye in the metal back to black. That's which way I want to go. If you do the oxide black, um, it'll scratch easier than uh, Cerakote, but it'll be more of a true finish. It'll just be um, really black. All right, I'll see you next time. Been working on my barrel, getting it pinned in. You can see I got my uh, my pins down there. Rear sight block pins in. I need to get the reamer so I can press the front trunnion into the barrel. It's not cut yet. I'll cut that when I get the reamer. And then uh, once it's pinned, um, pull the pin back out. At that point, um, take the barrel off the forward trunnion. And then I can start riveting the trunnion to the receiver. And then come back, repress the barrel, and go ahead and um, do the final assembly. Came out a little better than expected for your um, first go around. I expected to, uh, you know, have. Well, not a good, uh, you know, good pins as far as the looks go. I mean, I know it would work, but I guess if you take your time and you try to do it right, the results will be better. Uh, easiest pin was this one. I just had an end mill. It just went through a lot easier than a drill bit. So if you guys were looking about investing in drill bits and end mills, I'd say try to get a proper end mill seems to cut a little bit quicker doesn't wobble as much it's just short and sweet here's the other side still see the barrel poking through that hole there Coming together slowly, but it's uh, looking good so far. It's already been head spaced. I'll double check the head space right before I drill that um, front trunnion pin or barrel pin and then uh, clamp it down on the drill press and uh, drill it out. 